Good morning children. Today we shall learn how to survive or protect ourselves against earthquakes. Firstly, in the seismic areas, people shouldn't build multi-story buildings with heavy materials. If roofs are made of light materials like tiles, there would be less chances of casualty during the earthquake. It is better if the cupboards and the shelves are fixed to the walls properly so that they do not fall easily. If you hang heavy things like heater, ACs etc from the wall, make sure to hang them somewhere safe so that it wouldn't fall on you during earthquake. The Central Building Research Institute has issued instructions to build earthquake proof house which can tolerate a moderate earthquake. So, it is advisable to follow those instructions if your house in the earthquake prone area. Earthquake is very unpredictable and it may cause huge destruction in few seconds. So, we should not underestimate its power. You must act very quickly as soon as you feel the tremor. Take shelter under heavy furniture like table. Stay away from heavy objects which may fall on you. If you are in bed, do not get up. Protect your head with a pillow. If you are outside, find a clean spot away from building, trees, overhead power lines, etc. And drop to the ground. If you are in a car or bus, don't come out. Drive it or ask the driver to drive it to an open clear spot slowly. Do not come out till the tremors stop. The power of an earthquake is expressed in terms of a magnitude on a scale called Richter scale. An earthquake at 7 or higher on the scale causes great destruction. The earthquake in 2001 in Gujarat and in 2005 in North Kashmir had a magnitude greater than 7.5 richer and hence there was a great destruction. You know the tremors produce waves on the surface of the earth. These are called seismic waves. The waves are recorded by an instrument called the seismograph. This table would give you an idea about the magnitude of earthquake. If the earthquake is less than 3.9 in richer scale, then it is not devastating. Such earthquakes often go unnoticed by the people who are outside. Don't think intensity of earthquake doesn't change much if magnitude increases by one richer only. An earthquake that registers 5 on the richer scale causes 10 times more shaking than an earthquake that is registered at 4.0. So, you may imagine how severe the tremor can be once earthquake crosses 7 on the richer scale. So, now you know how to be safe during earthquake. To summarize, destructive energy of an earthquake is measured on the richer scale. The earthquake measuring 7 or more on the richer scale can cause severe damage to life and to property. Hence, we should take necessary precautions to protect ourselves from earthquakes. That's all for now. Bye-bye children.